guys, Warrior Nerd here, back with another video. If you watched my passive technique series, which I highly recommend you go watch, it's a t t series about how you can complete missions without using motors at all. So whether you have one or two motors, you can complete many more missions on one run instead of just two, or using one motor to multitask. So today I have you a video about how I use slopes, my favorite passive technique, to complete the bench mission without even u the use of motors. Also, I used it to complete the build your own mission and some of the first health packets. Let's get into how I did this. So, looking at the design, it's quickly detachable from my robot's front holes, which I've designed for this purpose. And these two pins allow it to slide in quickly and easy. Just like my technique pinning from how pinning can improve your FLO robot. On the thing itself, it has two slopes here to lift the bar and one slope here to knock down the entire contraption. This little segment here places the innovation project and a couple of other health aid packets into the gray area around the bench. And these four contraptions here are little cube wedges. The cubes slide into these holes like so. And they can be taken out pretty quickly and easily in base. They can also be preloaded. But essentially what happens is the robot will drive forward extremely fast, and when it stops, it's kind of like when you go into a car. It, it'll cause the cubes to move forward because nothing's stopping them, but the robot will stop because the motor's brakes. I've seen some passive techniques for this mission popping up on YouTube, and one by the FLO expert uses a bench lifter. Instead, I opted to use a slope, which essentially does the same thing. And with your robot moving forward, it can lift the thing equally as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I have our team's run number two from Replay coming soon, and we saved a lot of time from our other missions by using techniques such as this. So now we have time for a long run around to the other side of the board. This video was quite short, but I hope it was no less useful than any of my other longer videos. Signing off for now, and this was the Worry Nerd 48 channel. Bye!